Hello and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your love tarot reading. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Remember, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. It could be you towards somebody, somebody here towards you. So if you feel the need to reverse the roles, then go ahead and do so for any personal readings. The link is down in the description box below. All right, let's see. You are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. And you have here love look at that okay i mean it's a love reading you have love here okay it's a beautiful partnership between feminine and masculine energy beautiful image there of two people holding hands they're literally like enjoying this moment of love right and as you can see that plant in the middle it's growing into a heart-shaped plant so yes indeed there is love coming towards you, love coming your way, a soulmate union, soulmate connection, or, you know, somebody here who perhaps is ready to love you, who you are ready to love. This could be family-related love. This could be career-related love. This could be self-love. This could also be a dynamic between, you know, you and a loved one, you and a lover, okay? Boyfriend, girlfriend, lover, you know, marriage partner, whatever this is. Let's go ahead and dig deeper to see what it is all about. But for sure, love is here for you. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and spread out all of these energies first. And I have new a new angle on the camera so that you're able to see all of the cards, the positions. And then I'm going to go ahead and clarify each and every position for you. So some of you guys might be dealing with a Gemini. I, uh, I also see a Pisces. Okay. Doesn't have to be, could be any of the signs at the bottom of the deck. You have here the nine of wands. So look at that. There's a part of you or somebody here. Remember, it could be reverse. Okay. This person who is kind of putting up a wall okay it's almost as if somebody here has been hurt before and they're kind of putting up a wall to protect their feelings to protect their emotions and they're not really ready to open up okay they're not ready they might even come across as a little bit defensive a little bit scared right kind of like you know making up excuses as to why they can't open up their heart in, in some kind of way okay so that's the energy there at the bottom of the deck. So the seven of pentacles here, this is a situation, okay? Somebody here feels like they've been investing into a situation, okay? Into a love connection, into a job, into a family member, whatever this is, okay? Whether it's money that you've been investing, whether it's love, energy that you've been investing, but you're kind of like sitting there and saying, okay, when is this going to happen, right? When is this finally going to happen? I've already invested enough time, energy, effort into the situation, and I don't see it happening, right? You kind of feel like, are you wasting your time is what you're asking yourself now. In your challenge position, you have the six of cups with the six of cups being here in your challenge position. What this is saying is that basically it's going to be a little bit challenging for you to either reconcile with the past. Okay. Maybe some of you guys don't want to reconcile with the past, or it could also be very difficult for you to let go of the past. Okay. Or somebody here is not able to let you go. Okay. I also see that there's some kind of a soulmate union, soulmate connection here. Okay. And if this is a brand new union, any soulmate connection, then it might be a little bit difficult for you you to really kind of, you know, feel like you want to open up to this, okay, to this new dynamic, to this new love. For others, it might be a friend, right? A friend that you have or somebody that you know that you're like, okay, um, maybe you see yourself being with them, you are attracted to them, but you're not sure if, you know, they want the same thing or it could be vice versa. Perhaps a friend likes you more than just friends, but you're like, I'm not sure if, you know, to go in that direction. Okay. Now here with the lovers. Yeah. So I do see that you want a strong bond. You're focused on making a final decision about love. Again, you have the lovers. You also have love here. I know you desire love, okay? You do have a desire for love. You do have a desire to come together as one with this either soulmate union, twin flame connection, okay, or karmic union. But I do see that you do feel an undeniable connection with a particular person, okay? You feel like that energy of, you know, you're very attracted to them physically. You're very attracted to them perhaps emotionally. You know, you're very drawn to them. That kind of energy where you feel like there is an undeniable bond between 
between both of you guys, okay? Now, also here with the moon reverse, the root of the issue is the fact that somebody here is ignoring their intuition. Don't ignore your intuition, okay? The root of the issue is also some kind of energy where somebody here is keeping something hidden, whether they're keeping their emotions hidden, whether this person is focused in on, you know, pessimism, depression, that kind of thing, and they don't have clarity. So the root of the issue is the fact that somebody here feels like they don't have clarity about the situation in order to open up whether them towards you or you towards them. In the recent past, I see that somebody here or something disappointed you. You were very disappointed. You thought that things were gonna go this direction and they ended up going in that direction, okay? Somebody here didn't turn out to be who you thought they were going to be or things didn't turn out to be how you thought they were going to be, okay? And so you had to walk away, okay? Even though you did walk away in the recent past, there's still some kind of emotional bond that you still, you know, felt, you know, tied to that situation or that person. Now here in your future energies, the near future coming towards you in the near future, you will have an opportunity. Somebody here is about to either gift you something, give you something, offer you something. It's something tangible. It's something practical. It's something here. It's the beginning stages of something. This person doesn't want to rush the process. This person doesn't want to rush into, you know, a connection or a relationship, or this could possibly be also you, you know, you're going to have an opportunity to yes, you know, offer something to somebody, but this is telling you this time, don't rush in. Make sure that you are both investing in it, okay, in a practical level uh, first, in order to see if this has potential for something long term, okay? For others of you guys, you will have an opportunity to, you know, just an analogy here, grab that little seed, plant that seed of love, okay, into the soil and water it take care of it, right? This takes time for that seed to grow into a plant, right? And nurture it, right? So take time with this investment that is coming towards you in the near future. Don't rush the process. Make sure that you plan ahead. Make sure that you strategize, okay? And also make sure that you're investing wisely, okay, when it comes in. With the Queen of Pentacles in your subconscious thoughts, so yeah, in your subconscious thoughts, I do feel that you want something stable. You want something long-term. Perhaps right now you might be focused on stabilizing your finances, stabilizing your career. So subconsciously speaking, you are kind of like looking at the situation as, okay, I need to, you know, invest in this for long-term. If I'm going to invest in it, I want to make sure that this is a loyal person, right? That this is somebody that I can count on. It's not just going to be some kind of a fly by night type of situation. So that is where you are operating from, right? Your subconscious thoughts is you want some kind of stability. Okay. Now also here with the King of Cups, this is how one person sees the other. So either you see them this way, they see you this way, but one person sees you, okay. As being very loving, very caring, very understanding. Okay. There is love in this person's heart for you. There is love. This person has a lot of love in their heart. Okay. Now I'm also seeing here that your action advice is the king of wands. You have to be confident, step into your power, step into your confidence, start, you know, calling the shots, start taking action, start moving forward, start leading. This is also some kind of a leadership role and leadership position. Okay. This is something here where if you want to manifest someone or something in your life, you have to believe in yourself and you have to be confident. Okay. About the situation. Now here, the result you stepping into your confidence is going to allow for you to get rid of all those fears, okay? Because when a person is not confident, they let their fears take over their mind, right? Oh, what if that happens? What if this ends up happening? What if this ends up falling apart, right? So there's that energy where you need to act with confidence. If you're going to make a move, you're going to do something, start something, say something, make sure that you do it from a place of confidence and not from a place of fear, okay? Now let's go ahead and see more so about why this love dominant energy is here for you. Why is love here as your dominant energy? 
And you have here the Empress, the King of Swords, the Eight of Wands reverse, and the Hangman reverse. Yeah, so there's some kind of energy here where it's kind of calling for you to make a sacrifice, okay? Something here that you know that you have to do in order to get the best result that you have not done, okay? Whether it's you want to attract a brand new love, whether it's a love connection that you're currently involved in and you want to see it grow, right? There's something here that you know you have to do that you still have not done, okay? And it's telling you, if you need to take a little bit of a step back to reflect on it, to come to terms with what is it that you need to do, then do so because you need to gain enlightenment. After you gain this level of enlightenment, you're gonna come out of this a wiser, more enlightened, mature person to where you're gonna be feeling so confident. Okay, you know what? This is what I have to do, right? And you're gonna be able to make those sacrifices in order to get the best result, in order to see the situation expand, grow, okay, in some kind of way. Now, I'm also seeing here that something here is getting ready to grow. This love connection is gonna grow. It has a potential to blossom into something more. It has a potential also to kind of go into the direction of something stable, but you have to nurture it. You have to be more so in tune, in touch with the energies of being caring, being understanding, right? Being there for not only that person, but also being loving to yourself, okay? Because I do sense that there's an energy here where perhaps a part of you is overthinking it. A part of you might be wanting to go into this detached, right? It's like you don't want to attach yourself uh, emotionally to the person, to the situation, because what if they end up hurting you? What if this ends up happening? What if that ends up going the wrong way, right? And so you having that mentality is creating a delay, okay? There might have also been a miscommunication between you and a loved one, and you need to clarify that miscommunication by speaking up, okay? By speaking up, by really kind of, you know, communicating with this person, but also listening to what that person has got to say, because communication is a two-way street, right? It's not just, I sit here and tell you guys everything. There's also that communication where, okay, now there's a time for you to, you know, kind of sit back and listen to what that person has got to tell you, right, in return. So that's the energy that I'm seeing here for you. But let's go ahead and clarify. I want to clarify more so of this Seven of Pentacles because there's a part of you that feels like you've already been investing into a situation and you're kind of like waiting for it to happen, okay? You're kind of wondering, is this going to happen? Are you just investing in it, you know, and wasting your time. Are you just wasting your time? Let's see. The Hermit, the Queen of Cups, the Magician, and the Six of Swords reverse. Yeah, so there's a part of you, okay, that perhaps isn't able to let go from something or someone from the past. That's only for a, a group of you guys. For others of you guys, there's something here that you need to let go of, okay? An old way of thinking, an old way of doing things. For others of you guys, it could also be, you know, the energy of the reason why you're feeling this way is because you're still not tuned into the magician, Okay, this is telling you, if you want to manifest this, you can, but you have to believe in yourself. Stop waiting for that person, for that result, for that thing on the outside to come towards you and instead take action towards it and manifest it. That's what this is saying, okay? Because what this is saying is basically, you know, if you believe in yourself, then that means that you have the power, right, to bring in, to attract your manifestation. You don't have to wait for it, okay? Now, I also see here that you're gonna have to be more open with your emotions, okay? Be a little bit more open. Of course, don't wear your heart on your sleeve. The Queen of Cups doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve, but she is open to love. She is open to sharing emotions, to expressing some kind of emotion, okay? If you need to go into hermit mode for some time to gain some clarity, some kind of enlightenment, go ahead and do so, but don't stay stuck in that, okay? Eventually, you're going to have to come out and manifest this. You're able to manifest this. You're only waiting because you want to wait, is what this is saying, okay? You can basically, you know, have this already, but again, you have to believe in the power that you hold over the situation, okay? Now let's go ahead and clarify the Six of Cups in your challenge position. So why is the Six of Cups here in your challenge position? Why is the Six of Cups here in your challenge position? 
And you have here the Page of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the World, as well as the Ten of Cups. Okay, so it could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you're dealing with, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus is not to be. But I do see that, yeah, it's going to be a little bit challenging, you know, I feel that to let something go that you are emotionally attached to. Okay, it might be a little bit challenging for some of you guys to let go of somebody that perhaps, you know, they're not really reciprocating towards you. They're not really giving you what you want. Okay, and by default, if you don't end this, you're pushing away your real manifestation. Okay, because this is telling you that this cycle has already closed out. There's a cycle here that has already ended. You gave what you had to give. You experienced what you had to experience with this person, with the situation. And now that chapter has to be closed. Of course, it could be a phase of a connection. Sometimes people go through different phases of connections and one phase, you know, when one phase closes out, the new phase begins. I'll give you a brief example. Let's say, for example, you guys were friends, right? And there was no love. There was no romanticism. Well, perhaps that, you know, phase of that connection of the friendship bond has to come to an end, okay, in order for that person to start seeing you as a potential partner, right? You can't keep acting like a friend, you know, if you want that person to see you as something more, right? That phase has to end. Something new has to begin, okay? Of course, it could just be the dynamic of an actual connection from the past or a connection currently that is no longer working the way that things have been flowing and going. Something here has to change, okay? So something here has to close out and change. And that's how you're going to manifest, okay? By accepting that ending for what it is. You're going to manifest manifest abundance. You're going to manifest money. You're going to manifest a connection, a situation, a person who really wants something long-term with you. This could be marriage potential, marriage material. For others of you guys, if you're waiting for that person to come in with some kind of communication, okay, they will, but you have to accept it as the ending that it is, okay? I feel like this individual is going to be coming in. For some of you guys, it's a brand new person. It's a brand new energy. It's a brand new person coming in, okay, to want to start something with you. This brand new person, perhaps you're pushing them away because you're so stuck on that other situation, okay? This brand new situation, this brand new connection, this person has romantic feelings for you, right? For others of you guys, of course, it's that person from the past that you really want to, you know, connect to whatever it is. And that might be an apology. Take it as it resonates. Okay. Now let's go ahead and clarify this lovers. Why is this lovers here? Because I see that you desire a passionate union. Okay. You do see that there is a deep bond between you and someone. Okay. You recognize that bond. So why is this lovers here? Okay. Page of uh, wands, temperance, ace of cups could be Sagittarius. And again, the hangman reverse. Yeah. So you need to make a sacrifice in order for you to get the right result. Okay. There's something here that you need to sacrifice in order to get something better. Okay. Whether it's leaving a connection that's no longer working to get the one that you really want, whether it's, you know, kind of perhaps leaving an outdated belief system, perhaps doing things differently. Only you know what that sacrifice is, okay? So there's something here that you need to sacrifice, okay, in order to get that different result. And what is that different result? This has potential. There's brand new love here. Look at that. Brand new love is entering your life, okay? This lover is here, a brand new chapter in love, but be patient. Don't rush the process. I do sense that somebody here is going to deliver a message, but you also have to reciprocate that message, communicate, send that message out. If that's what you feel, if you feel like you have something to say, say it, send that message out. Okay. But be patient with the process. Be patient with this kind of like evolving in the way that it has to evolve. Okay. Now let's go ahead and clarify further. I want to clarify more of this King of Cups. Let's see who this King of Cups is and what is this all about? Tell me more about this King of Cups energy. You have here the Seven of Swords reversed, the Three of Cups, as well as the Chariot and also the Page of Cups. Yeah, so with the Page of Cups here, I do see that somebody definitely has romantic feelings for you. There's some kind of an element where one person here wants to get to know you. They want to, you know, inspire you. They want to mm, explore life with you. 
some of you guys, perhaps it could be an apology from somebody, but this individual does have romantic feelings for you. However, okay. However, I feel very strongly that some of you guys are still stuck on a person or a situation that is not good for you. There's one dynamic here where there's one particular person who might've lied. Okay. Those lies are going to be exposed. Those lies are going to be brought out into the open. There could have been a third party situation with this liar. Okay. But you have to confront this liar for what it is. Okay. When you get those facts, you have to confront the situation for what it is. Okay. Only then you will get this new opportunity with this other individual. Okay. I do see that this person does have love for you. Okay. But there's also that element of the truth being revealed. Of course, there's always that energy of working something out. Okay, and that's only if you desire that. But let's clarify why this King of Wands is here as your action advice. Why is this King of Wands here? The Knight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Swords, as well as the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so, you know, it's very interesting because the Knight of Wands turns into the King of Wands. So, you know, your action advice is to go towards what you really want, okay? Go towards that which you really desire, that whatever it is that makes you feel alive, okay? Now, I feel like this is destined for you. There is some kind of destiny, you know, playing a part in the situation, which is why it's telling you if you want something, you have to be confident in getting it, okay? But don't rush the process is telling you make sure that you have a plan make sure that you have a strategy you know take one step at a time don't rush the process with this person you are dealing with an individual here who might not be too emotionally open okay they might be very practical very logical it's not easy for this person to show much emotion so be be aware of that okay uh, i'm also sensing that for some of you guys this might feel like it's moving too slowly for your own you know, good. Maybe you feel like this person is just taking way too much time. But remember, the Wheel of Fortune is telling you no matter how much time it takes or how much you try to rush the process, it's not going to happen until it's meant to happen. Okay. So the Wheel of Fortune, luck is on your side. Don't grow impatient. I feel like it's flowing in the right direction. We're going to be going into the extended ring to see who this person is, more so about their subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves and actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you, what is going to be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from Spirit. If you want to check that out, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. And in the extended reading is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to develop and turn out for you, what will be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from Spirit. So if you want to check out the link to the extended, you can now find the link to the extended down in the first comment that is pinned down below, as well as in the description box below. And I finally got good news from YouTube regarding the situation that has been happening with my channel. Make sure that if you do like these videos, if you do want to support the channel, comment down below. Even if it's just commenting down an emoji, it really helps support me and my channel. And now you can check out all of your readings that I've posted for your sign in the first comment that is um, pinned down below. You will find all of your weekly readings from this week. Last week, you will also find all of your monthly readings for this entire month, your mid-monthly readings, your blessings readings, and more. So make sure to check out the first comment that is pinned down below so that you can check out all of those readings for your sign for this entire month. Thank you all so much for your support. Take very good care of yourselves and until next time, bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with some psychic soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below.
and check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.